It was on a beautiful summer's day in February of 1981 when we joined a group of club members to visit Kapiti Island. Only groups of 25 people per day are allowed to explore this bird and wildlife sanctuary. Needless to say that there is a long waiting list to get the opportunity to set foot on the island. Out in the shallow waters of Paraparayam beach was a very powerful boat waiting and we all had to remove our shoes and socks to board the vessel. No sooner that we all had our life jackets securely fitted, the boat took off at high speed and only 10 minutes later we arrived at destination. The skipper of the boat had to make two trips to get us all ashore and when everybody finally had arrived, the local ranger, Mr. Peter Daniels, came and welcomed the party to the island. Mr. Daniels gave us some instructions of what to expect and advised us to best split up and not to be overly noisy. He then pointed us into the right direction and we were off on our way to the summit of this lovely piece of earth. Very quickly we all found out that this was not going to be a cakewalk. No sooner that we were in amongst the trees a very steep climb awaited the party. But lucky for us, walking under those huge trees, we didn't have to worry about the hot summer sun and it was a very pleasant walk indeed. It didn't take very long for the girls to find some locals who were in no hurry to escape them. I didn't know that they were Tarkahes on Capiti. Did you? And just around the next corner was another surprise waiting. A couple of chaos were sitting in the trees and from a safe distance carried on as if we were not there at all. Hey, that's a kiwi! Gee, did you see that? That must be a lucky day, girls. Did you hear that? That's a coca cola Here he is, look, look! This is unbelievable! By the time we got to the signpost, which told us that the summit was still 20 minutes away, my girls showed sign of fatigue and we sat down for a minute or so. And to tell you the truth, it was a welcome break for all of us. Hey look girls, that's a robin. But knowing that we were running late, we soon were on our way again and before long we came up on our friends who were waiting at the trick near the top. What a beautiful view one has from up there. High above the Tasman Sea, it was quite spectacular. After a short break and some lunch in the sun, we had to leave for the shore deep below us. It was a rather steep descent too. Our friends were really astounded when we told them about the birds we've seen, especially the kiwi. Some of them had seen none at all, no birds at all. About an hour later we were back at the beach. Some of the others were already there. A hundred years ago there used to be a whaling station there. We had a very refreshing swim in the sea 
and soon after the boat came back to pick us up for our journey back to Paraparaun. A most wonderful and interesting day came to its conclusion, a day we will not forget. Yes, that's true.